Kim Enchantress here from Sydney, Australia. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm here to do a music reading for you musicians for April 2023. Um, all you cross watchers are welcome. Thank you for stopping by too. I also um, want to just send out blessings to you guys for the long weekend for Easter. So we'll get started guys. I'm going to pull a couple of messages from Spirit here and see what's going on particularly from the 19th to the end of April. So we're going to look at the new moon in Aries, also with the eclipse in Aries and the sun moving into Taurus. So we'll see what's happening around those uh, energies and um, let's see if we can get an outcome for you, you Pisces. So success and good fortune are on the way to you. I'm feeling that's around the sun in Taurus on the 20th. So um that's pretty good for you Pisces let's see and we've also got a message to begin again so there could have been something that's come to an end or something that wasn't working for you in your music and you're starting all over again and I know the feeling I'm doing that too so you probably decluttered things that weren't working for you uh, or people from your outfit could be anything so let's see We've got the moon, new moon in Aries, which is about believing in yourself. You know, something new is starting over again. So you've gone from the cocoon into the beautiful monarch butterfly, which represents beautiful opportunities coming in, creative opportunities for um, fluttering your way. So you've been courageous. You've done what you had to do by starting over again. And... You know, emotionally, you now feel motivated. You want to express your individuality and also your independence. Now, you're possibly also going to be feeling inside and you know there's something new on the horizon for you. A little bit of restless energy is happening and you will need to avoid making a rash decision, although you need to make a decision. So, you know, just... Um, Enjoy life while you're waiting for this new opportunity to come in and be ready to accept all these new challenges when they arise because they will arise. And we've got the fish with the Lenormand cards. We've got the anchor sorry, and the clover. So we've got the fish, which represents money and abundance. It's also the Gemini energy. We've got the anchor, which represents long-term goals being persistent it can sometimes represent that you feel stuck but I feel in this case it's more looking swimming towards your long-term goals with the clover it's uh, luck and opportunities that are unexpected so it's a bit of a surprise that's coming in for you Sagittarius energy so we've got you know Gemini in the sixth house of the anchor is associated with your physical health all the routines that you have in your day-to-day -day life, work life. So what this is telling me is that you may be curious or you want to communicate more, but you want to do it and have a free nature. <clears throat> this is the Gemini energy. And, you know, you may hold a lot of knowledge connected to health at this time. So maybe this is why um, you had a message to start over again. Maybe you had to take a sabbatical for a while. But, you know, um, you're possibly making the right health choices for your music. And, you know, you may be getting bored of your day job quickly and you want to change jobs quite often. People with a Gemini in the sixth house um, are pretty talkative people, but they like to have a bit of a chin work at work and gossip a little bit, but they are very talented at how to make money. So if you, you're not happy in that job, it's possibly time to leave and do what's um, on your life's journey, what you're meant to be doing. You know, you're not feeling it anymore at your day job. So you've got this talent of making money. Now, this is about being enthusiastic about the arts and investing in your education and profession and gathering information so you can use it intellectually when dealing with work 
Now, when you've got Sagittarius in the sixth house, it means, you know, that you have a difficulty sticking to the routines um, for a long period of time. So you've got this adventurous nature here, Pisces, that needs to seek variety and change so you can enjoy it. I feel like you are blessed with good health and a lot of energy, but the sixth house is representing physical health routines, day-to-day -day life. And when it comes with Sagittarius, the clover, it's a mutable fire sign. So it brings an open-mindedness, luck, knowledge to you. And it means that you have a hard time working in the same place for a long period of time. So, you know, you may want to find a job in a foreign country or work with a foreign language. Now, you are longing for business with the fish and you may want to break away and work on your own. So a message to begin again. I think this is a good idea for you because success and good fortune is on its way, especially with the clover there. You know, I feel like if you do break away, your cash flow is going to be constant and you may even be investing in a long-term stability, consistency in your music. You know, I feel like you're going to have an off offshore account and you're going to find happiness in your current situation, Pisces. So this is going to be luck with a clover that lasts and uh, you can rely on some fun that someone else is going to provide for you. So maybe you're going to go offshore to make some money this time. Something different. There's a lot of abundance in this card with a fish. So that sounds pretty cool to me. Okay, let's see what's happening with the eclipse also in Aries. So it's about boosting relationships, your teamwork, collaborating with other people. You know, you are a spiritual person that's experiencing life on the earthly domain and you're learning your life lessons but just make sure you're led by your interests and above all your heart because this is also about connections around the globe I'm feeling for you and um, it could be karmic or you're being drawn to these offshores um, for a reason there could be someone that you're drawn to that you're meant to meet and you will be feeling fulfilled and you're going to express who you truly are and find out more about your purpose in life. If it's offshore, so be it. You may wish to follow the yellow brick road, though, to complete some project that you feel makes you feel good inside and it motivates you. And, you know, you can express all your talents with. Possibly overseas is going to help you learn new ways to get ahead. Now, when we've got the sun and the moon and the north node aligning in the sky um, during this solar eclipse on the 19th, and this energy is going to be amplified. It's going to bring a lot of changes in your life that are significant to you. And there's going to be this intense focus on your personal goals. So definitely um, with the anchor, long-term goals. And it's also going to be focused on your identity. Now, uh, in astrology, the sixth house indicates that you have a strong work ethic and uh, you love to give surface to others. And it is also indicating you have a serious and responsible partner, maybe who you're going to meet overseas, who values your honesty. And, you know, this person's going to be highly disciplined and organised. Maybe... They're a bit prone to overworking, um, so you've got to be careful they don't burn you out. <laughs> um, but you've also got to take time for self-care. Now, around this placement too, you've just got to um, be careful that, you know, your co-workers, employees can be strained by your, you know, irritability. You know, you could be irritable. And demanding, but that could be at the work or job place that you are now where you're feeling stuck. Okay, so we've got Jupiter with the Lenormand cards um, about invitations, gifts, and we've got a tree which is Virgo energy. 
So Jupiter and Virgo combination indicates how a person expands their consciousness, makes their own luck with the clover, and you know values of work and service. It can also show a tendency to be realistic, a perfectionist, and sensitive. Now Jupiter, Virgo can have a positive influence on solving problems, teaching others, and being welcoming. However, it can also have a, ne a negative influence on getting lost in details and being critical of yourself and being too humble. So, you know, you may even receive a business offer here, Pisces, where you will feel appreciated and you are being rewarded for your efforts. So know that. And this may be a gift also of a painted picture of landscapes or wildflowers for a particular album cover that you're doing for music. And it's all to do with colour therapy. Interesting. So let's see what the sun in Taurus has. So this is about <clears throat> your self-worth and practicalities, you know, finances. And it's also um, a time to put all your good ideas into practice when you want results. And you need to invest more in yourself, though. But believe in your talents because this is going to help boost your self-esteem. Have positive mind frame and then all these projects will come to fruition. It is time to take action though and you've got to choose your endeavours very wisely. And it also depends on the cards that come up with the Lenormand and it indicates a very lucrative time for you. Success, good fortune on its way. But just be sure to maintain a healthy relationship with spirit by seeing money as a form of energy and not a platform of power. So let's see, we've got the clouds. So there's misunderstandings or confusions. Also the card of Neptune. We have the cross, which can be um, struggles. Uh, is also the 12th house of sacrifice and solitude. And we've got the woman, which represents Venus. So, you know, when that happens for you, the Neptune in the 12th house indicates that you're very highly spiritual and it can sig uh, signify psychic tendencies. So a person may have deception and confusion around an important decision or you're struggling with uh, procrastination. Placement is often found in people who are misunderstood. And Neptune in the 12th house of the Zodiac indicates a deeply insightful person who draws upon natural intuition to solve their problems. Now, this placement may also suggest psychic ability, although you may not be aware of it here, Pisces. People with Neptune in the 12th house are very highly sensitive, especially to the forces operating in the unconscious, and you may be attuned to victimisation or suffering, loss of some kind or some sort of chaos in your music, hence why you're starting over. Now, there may be a reflective and intuitive psychic ability that you're operating unconsciously. So this can be great for working with um, people in institutions or places of seclusion, such as prisons and hospital, uh, sorry, hospitals. This is probably the colour therapy um, music that you're going to do, or you're going to be a social worker. However, the Neptune in the 12th house can also represent a secretive and mysterious person who keeps hidden their true and emotions and um, their intentions. So in astrology, with Venus here, the woman, it represents, uh, represents love, beauty and the arts. And when in the 12th house, it can indicate a spiritually profound form of love and a desire to experience love on a higher level. So this could be the person that you're going to meet. So it can also represent success, and prosperity in a foreign or distant land, which is what I said before, offshores, as well as hid hidden talent. So, you know, people with the Venus in the 12th house may have trouble expressing themselves, especially in relationships, and you may find that you are attracted to prisoners or mentally unstable individuals or celebrities of some kind. 
So this placement can also indicate a strong connection to your inner self. And you may have a preference, a preference sorry, I'm tongue-tied today, a preference for seclusion. You know, this is Venus in the 12th house. It's traits that can include um, caring, nurturing, and idealism. So you've got an interesting reading here, Pisces. Um, so you may be going offshores, starting all over again, but you know how to make money and you've got a creative opportunity coming your way, which is um, something very wonderful. All the very best to you guys and I'm sending blessings your way. Love to you all.